in this video we are going to give you a presentation of how Horner's synthetic method can be applied to find factorization of polynomials, finding remainders, finding quotient and verifying roots of the given equation. So first of all we try to deal with the ancient method to solve quadratic equations that is called Babylonians. Babylonians used to find quadratic solution to quadratic equations. We take one of the examples as solve x square plus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. So by the ancient method, we put this constant on one side, x square plus 6x is equal to 7, factorize this, take x common, x plus 6 is equal to 7, so this is case number 1. Now, we take average of x and x plus 6 as a. Therefore, a is equal to x plus x plus 6 upon 2. And this implies that x plus 3 is equal to a. And therefore, x is equal to a minus 3. This is equation number 2. Now putting x is equal to 3, a minus 3 in equation 1. a minus 3 plus 6 is equal to 7. Therefore, a minus 3 and this is a plus 3 is equal to 7. And this implies that a squared minus 9 is equal to 7. Implies that a is equal to 16. a squared is equal to 16. And therefore, a is equal to 4. In that period, Babylonians did not consider negative sign and therefore x plus 3 is equal to a. x is equal to x is equal to 4 minus 3. Implies that x plus 3 is equal to 4. Implies that x is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And therefore one of the value is x plus x is equal to 1. The other value we can find like this. a is equal to minus 4. Therefore, x plus 3 is equal to minus 4. x is equal to 7. So, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 7. Sorry. And the two factors are the two values of x by the ancient method. Similarly, and now we take up Horner method. And the question is factorize using Horner method. fx is equal to x square minus 7x plus 10. So here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant term is 10 and therefore according to the Honda synthetic method 10 can be expressed as 10 into 1 or 5 into 2. So 1, 2, 5 and 8 and 10 are the four numbers that can be tried here. So according to Honda's method, we write down the coefficient of x square, x and x square, 1 minus 7 and 10. We try for 2. Actually, we write x is equal to 2. So 2 when you are 2. We add now this as minus 5. We multiply this to this, minus 5 to the minus 10 and we add this, we get 0. 
if here it comes to be as 0, then we say this is the vendor and therefore this is plus, therefore x minus 2 is a factor. So this is one of the factor of this equation. You can easily find the other factor, we carry this here. This is only one operation and the maximum power here is 2, therefore replacing, the subtracting 1 from 2 is 1, therefore x minus 5 is another factor. And this is very simply, Horner method can be used to find factors. Another question. Suppose we take fx is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square and minus 2x plus 3. So here again, it's a polynomial of degree 3 in the decreasing order. The constant term is 2 and the coefficient here is x cube is 2. Therefore, all possible factor may be 3 is equal to 3 is to 1. So plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 3 upon 2 or plus minus 2 upon 3. All that can be tried here. So we write down 2 minus 3 minus 2 and 3. Put a line like this. So we try first of all by 1 plus 1. x is equal to plus 1. 1 2 are 2. We add minus 1. Listen to this multiply. It. This is minus 1. We add now minus 3. Now this can be multiplied here again minus 3. So here comes 0. The remainder is 0 means x minus 1 is a factor. Plus try by the value. Here. x minus 1 is a factor. So this is one maximum power is 3. Therefore, at the most maximum, there can be three linear factors. And hence one of them is this. In order to find the second one, we repeat the same process here. We tried it for minus 1. So minus 2, minus 1 into minus 2, plus 2 is minus 2. We add minus 3, we multiply this again, this is 3, and here comes 0. So again, x plus 1 is another factor. Now what remains here is, we carry this 2, here the maximum power is 3, operations are 2, subtracting 3 minus 2, we get 2x minus 3 as the third factor. So as such, by Horner method, we can very easily find factors. We take up the next question. Our next question is, if fx is equal to 6x cube minus 11x square plus 14x plus 1 is divided by gx is equal to 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. Then we have to find the remainder. So here, Horner method can be very well used and simply putting 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to half. So we write 6 minus 11. 14 and 1. x is equal to half. We try for this. Listen to this is 3. We add minus 8. We multiply this is minus 4. We are going to add this is 10. We again multiply this is 5. We add 6. So 6 is the remainder. As well, you can immediately write down the quotient. This is only one operation, the maximum power is 3, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So we write 6x square, now in the decreasing order, 8x and plus 10 is a quotient. So what we see, Horner synthetic method can be very well applied easily. 
to solve our problems. Another question. Show that five x plus three is a factor of f x is equal to five x cube plus eight x square. Minus twenty seven x and minus eighteen. So five x plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to minus three upon five. So write down the coefficient here. Five eight minus twenty seven minus eighteen. Putting x is equal to minus three upon five. We multiply this to this. It is minus three. We add again. This is five. We multiply this minus three again. We add this is thirty minus. We multiply this. This is my eighteen plus eighteen. Now we add this is zero. And so what we show, the remainder is zero. Hence, x is equal to three by five. Means x minus five x minus three is equal to zero. That is five x minus three is a factor, and this is all about hardness synthetic method.